Hello Taurus, welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your weekly message for October 28th through November the 3rd. We are using, what is this, the Psychic Tarot, the Rider Deck, and the regular regular yes the regular plain deck okay so because we want to get more details yes we do just a little bit more details of what's going on yes 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 these seven little days and i'm hoping that it doesn't take too long because i know that you guys like to see what's going on okay i know you guys want to see yes to make sure well i like it i don't know if you guys like it but i like it okay i like to see the deck shuffled dun, dun, dun. these um psychic cards i like to have them all upright because i want to get out all the positive energy that we can mm -hmm. thank you thank you just one more Ooh, this is going to be an in-depth reading. Yes, yes, yes. What is going... Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Angels, you are definitely working on our behalf. Yes, yes, yes. What is going on to... Oh, there we go. And one more, angels. Just one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so the major, major theme for this seven-day period. See that? Yeah, you're like, huh? What is that? Okay, so, so we have the five, the five of of what is it? Five of cups reversed with new beginnings. Uh huh. With the queen of spades and the seven of hearts. So the major theme of the week is you are now focusing on yeah something that has been there the whole time something that gives you emotional peace and emotional security and you are ready for a brand new beginning you are no longer taurus focusing on things this week that um, are uncertain mm -mm. you want security this week and this queen of spades is saying that you are definitely ready to work on this you're ready to switch and i feel like yes this might be a little bit challenging but i feel like you will it's almost like um something that you had been focusing on that was not working right and it wasn't working and it wasn't working and now you have to slowly shift to what is working whether that be a relationship a job a situation a partnership a family member whatever it is you're slowly starting new and you're going to start focusing on what is working whether like i said whatever it is a job a relationship now when we look in the recent past we had the nine we had the nine of swords reversed with the shadow card and the nine of diamonds and the five of diamonds so what i'm feeling like is the, the it's like you know you were working really hard on getting your sleep but i feel like there was something that really kind of like you maybe you were having dreams of of things you have constant dreams and you weren't sure what those dreams meant what they meant in your life i feel like there were some things that you wanted to let go of or your dreams were telling you to let go of something that it was time for a change and yeah and i felt like you just you just weren't sure what am i supposed to change what am i supposed to let go of and i see you waking up in the morning feeling like what did that dream mean? What did that dream mean? Okay, so now in the middle of the week, we have the Four of Cups mm -hmm, with Stand, Stand Your Ground, uh huh, with the Jack of Diamonds and the Eight of Hearts. So I do feel it's like um, you're not, you're still not certain, you're still not certain about what you're focusing on you're just not certain but i see you not changing your mind even though you're not certain you're still moving forward in this jack of diamonds energy which is saying you know you're gonna have to be a little bit more creative you're gonna have to really really um bring i want to say your swag <laughs> because this is going to require all of your power all of your emotional power so if you're used to um just kind of blah 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 nope you're going to have to bring your game. <laughs> You're going to have to bring your game to this situation. You're going to have to make it more colorful, more louder, more decorative. Whatever it is, you're going to have to bring your game face. Okay, now, what is it that the kids say? You're going to have to 
bring your drip. <laughs> that's what it is. Drip, drip. That's what you're going to have to bring. Okay, now, if by the end of the week, we have the full card reversed with the power, uh-huh, uh-huh, with the joker and the eight of diamonds. So I'm saying you did bring your drip, okay? Because the full card is saying you're not going anywhere. You thought you were, but you're not. And you know what? Where you are, you are staying because it's bringing you power. I feel like it's power that you were not even expecting. And you know what else? This is a crazy week, okay? October 28th through November 3rd. Yeah, your money, your money power is definitely going to be there. Oh my God, this new beginning is awesome. Okay, now, so don't, don't fret it, man, okay? All right, now, your bonus is the Five of Swords, uh-huh, with the Emperor card. Yes, yes, yes. The Knight of Cups. Mental conflict, uh-huh, and fertility, eight of clubs, four of clubs. All right, so your bonus, something. You're either letting something go in your mind or someone is leaving a situation. And I feel like whatever it is, you, it, you're, it's leaving because you have stepped into your power yes you have you have stepped into your power and you know what because you're i feel like you're you're showing power through love like you know it's like tough love i feel like you're showing power through tough love because this mental conflict it needs to go i feel like it needs to go and with this fertility card a new beginning very new beginning through power power of the mind and you know what the four clubs is like you're not changing your mind in this situation so i feel like there has been something that has been bothering you that that really you can't really put your finger on the ifs the whys the the what to what part of it do you want to let go of what part of it do you want to change what do you need to just push to the side and start new what is it what is it? like i see you like what do i do what do i do what do i do well if you are going to stay here i feel like if you're going to stay here in this situation whatever the situation is love work romance whatever it is if you're going to stay you're going to have to bring your game you're gonna have to come with your game because i feel like um i feel like i why do i feel like there's a power struggle here and but it's not a power struggle it, it's almost like it's like you want up want you're one upping someone um someone comes and they bring let's say the let's say hypothetically speaking a person comes to the class and they give the teacher an apple and they're they're really proud of that they gave that teacher that apple right and then in, and everybody in the class is like whoa 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 that's so cool blah 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 and then you come right behind and you give the teacher a bushel of apples like you totally up up you know, you, you've outshone, you've shown your power, you, and not just apples, you have granny apples, you have this apple, that apple, this apple, you have all kinds of apples, like whatever you did, <laughs> you made that person that thought they had their game on, you made them look like they were like nothing. And because you did that, and if this is a work situation, yeah, you brought your game on, you did your drip, okay? So I say this weekend, let go of what wasn't working. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult to, to try something new. But that new thing that you're trying, it's going to bring you exactly what it is that you want. But this isn't something that you're used to doing. You're used to doing... This week, you need to come with an explosion. You need to come with fireworks and brim and you just... Bring out your whole arsenal, whatever you have. If you, whatever it is that you have that you that's so much better that you haven't been using for a long time, it's time for you to up your game. I don't care what situation it is. Love, money, work. With your kids, with your parents, whatever it is, you're gonna have to bring it. When I say bring it, I mean bring it this week, okay? It's seven days and you can do it, okay? You're like, but I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be on high alert the whole week. If you want to succeed, which I see that you do, bring your game, bring your bushel of apples because you're going to win if you do, guaranteed, okay? So I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.